Hey everyone, welcome. Rabbit here and my feet. <laughs> and today we're going to be doing a run over on looking at about 240 volt power and how you actually hook up this meter for yourself. So I'll show you how I actually did my 240 volt wiring because I did do it all by myself, what all I needed and how this all kind of goes together because people have been asking me how this all works and how they can do it for themselves. I would like to thank the sponsor for today's video, CD Key Offers. Uh, they have codes here for video games, software, uh, antiviruses, you name it, they pretty much got it. Here we're looking at Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM. Now to purchase this, you simply just hit buy now. If you want a more discount, you hit discount code BID20, apply, and you will get another $4 off of this USD, $16 now. So you're getting Windows 10 Pro for $16. You'll submit your order, use whatever payment process you want, and pay now. Once you get your product key, simply hit next. And it'll ask you, you'll get the best thing, activate. And we're activated this copy of Windows. It is now active, so there you go. So here we are at my breaker panel, as you can see right there. Now I'm trying to get my lights right, but it's just not quite working. I'm having a little bit of shadow issues. Got my lights in here. It's just kind of a small room, but doing my best for you guys to bring you the best experience possible. Anyway, uh, we're just going to get to this and try not to get covered in shadows. But yeah, this right here, this is a 30 amp double pole breaker. And what that means it is because uh, we're 120 volt here, it has two hot plugs that plugs in. So 120 and 120 makes 240. So essentially that's all a 240 volt breaker is, is a 30 amp with two hot wires making it that 240. So I pulled my panel off. Now everything I'm gonna tell you and kind of show you here, here, highly recommend it. Get an electrician to do it, especially if you don't know what you're doing. But I did say, I did do this myself because I kind of know a little bit about electricity. But if you're not sure in general, just due to code issues, hire an electrician to do this for you but here we are with that out of the way this right here get the shadow out of the way that is my double pole 30 amp breaker as you can see the two wires are coming in and the wire you need for this due to uh, i'm using an l6 plug at the other end where that power meter is plugged in and my pdu plugs into uh, this is 10 2 wire and what that means i is uh, it's the wire is 10 gauge that's what you need for 30 amp 240 and there's two wires, so two hot wires. Now 10-2 comes with three wires. Obviously one is a ground. You do not need 10-3 wire. Uh, my hardware store said I did because he didn't know what I was doing. I said, I'm just putting a bunch of computers together because then I just needed more power. And he laughed at me and goes, that's quite the computer. And I was like, yeah, it is. But anyway, so this is 10-2 wire, 10 gauge, one ground. As you can see, red and black are both hot on this. So those two pins right there, hot and hot so that's both getting 120 volts put them together that makes 240 and my ground wire is down plugged in down there so that is my one there 30 amp 240 volt that is the breaker running uh, my PDU we'll just go through and follow the wires up and it comes in right about there whoa little focus action and then you can see I have it strung up going up around here into the roof down across and it goes into that hole over there. Get some zoom power in right about there and it goes over top our basement bathroom. And here we are in our mining room and that cable is coming in here, whipping around and into our box. So as you seen in my last video, I did get this box right here in from Space Goats, personalized with Rabbit Mining. So I do want to swap this over to this and we will show you how to wire this all up so you guys can see how to do that for yourself if you want to this part obviously unless you have no power here or the breaker is off you can do this safely because there's no power so you can do all this while you wait for your own electrician do your actual breaker install and whatnot however you decide to go about it but it also depends on Ethereum fees if I'm going to do this right now or I might have to wait till later. So I'm going to check the fees and see if we're going to continue on with this video at this very moment. Because <laughs> I do not want to shut my rigs off if I do not have to, especially if the fees are high at the present moment in time. 
I just popped Etherscan up here to check the recent block rewards. So we're sitting in the higher threes, low fours. So we are a little bit up uh, more than usual. But I think we're safe to pull these rigs offline for now and do this. It shouldn't take too long to swap this over as long as everything goes smoothly. So I guess we'll do that. Okay, so step number one I already did. It was power down my rigs. You want to do that before you hit this step. Step number two always turn your breaker off like so all right so we are dead in the water here as you can see i will unhook my plug it is a twist lock twist to the left then pull it out hold on a minute there we go so as you can see this is an l6 so l630 uh, most pdus do have this plug so when you order your pdu or depending what you already have make sure when you're building your box you order the female version to match that. So this is an L630. Actually, it says right there. Can we get in any closer? Do you see there? L630 uh, by Leventon. So yeah, that's what I got. This is a 240 volt rated 30 amp uh, plug. So that is all unplugged. We have no power. I'll pull this apart and we'll take a look inside and show you how to hook everything up. Here we are with the box open and links are in the description for everything here. I believe it's under build your own power meter. So up top, that is our power meter there. And as you can see, I do have four wires because this is the 10-3 wire that the hardware store guy told me I needed, which I said I didn't, but he insisted that I did. So I got it anyway, but this white wire is a neutral and it returns power back to your current. This is mostly used in like your dryer situation or stoves and whatnot. With those other plugs so like i said you only need 10 2 wire not 10 3. Uh, with 10 2 you will not have this wire here as it's not even being used anyway so as you can see i spliced so our plug is right here this is our l6 and i spliced two off just to have some room so i have my two hots coming in right here here's one hot and then it's coming into our power meter our two hots are going into the power meter and it will have a ring you only got to put a ring this ring around one wire so you don't need to put around both hots like i said 240 volt is two 120 volt lines you only need to put this around one it does not matter which one you use so we'll try to go in here and take another look there's our ground we have this one spliced in one going to our power meter and this is coming from the breaker and obviously we got our other 120 up here and it's going to the same thing into our power meter and the other one's going to our breaker with our little ring only around one wire. So I'll show you coming up into our actual meter here. Has just two little ordeals right there. And those are the two hots coming in. Both lines are hot at 120, making 240. And if you want to see the other side, hopefully it's not too shadowy. That's just your little meter there that goes around with its ring around the one wire. So that is pretty much how you set this up. It is quite simple, so I gotta get this into the other box now. If you look at our fancy box from Space Ghost, you will see we need a torque wrench to actually open up the front cover. It is a good thing I do have this Canadian Tire Crypto Mining Repair Kit. <laughs> right here, this is the torque, as you can see. Nice fancy star type of ordeal there. Oh, the focus is all crazy. But yeah, that's like a $20, $30 kit. Pick up a Canadian Tire and it has everything you need. Turns out I have a little bit of trimming to do. I got this little ridge sticking out there. So it doesn't quite fit into here yet. So I'm going to have to work that out. So for now, it's almost bedtime. So I did just fire this back in. Got the rigs working again for now. And I guess I'll finish this little project up in the morning looking good we got it in all it took was a little bit of sandpaper uh some dog clippers with a little <laughs> let me see here turn that on there we go it's almost like a drill so we got a file on there for nail filing and a little bit of a hobby repair knife kit and yeah we're looking good we we're in there perfect so the rigs were running all night they were turned back on as you can see here <laughs> we have our power meter off obviously because we got it in that other box so i'm just going over the fees again it's looking like a low to over half in the high fours so that's looking pretty good on the fee wise but i'm still going to turn these off because we do want to get this box complete right now and here we go again 
we are now off on rigs <laughs> as you can see here I do have these wires out of that box and into this box and so these two wires here the red and the blacks on my cables these are would both be positive and right here is your ground I cut that white wire off and taped it up down in here so it is good it's not even plugged in on the other side and taped off as well so there's no power at it at all so like I said all you need is 10 2 wire and it has two positives and one ground so we got all our power cables in our box and we got it mounted on the wall as you can see here it's looking pretty good again two positives one ground I'm just going to show you what I got to do here before I do it because I won't really be able to record myself doing it due to the fact that it is quite difficult with these stiff wires. So this is your drock meter. This right here, little old circle thing, the conductor. It is, I'm dropping everything everywhere, bear with me. We'll go around one wire, like so. So that will go under one wire. Shouldn't really let this hang, but I'm going to. Now I got these two wires because these do have to go into the other side of this meter to get a reading. That is where these two wires will go into this meter and then they will again go into our plug. So as you can see, we have one ground and two uh, positive here. So these wires will go to our plug, into our drop meter as well. I'll have these two plugged in the same spot as my two positives and we are all set. And obviously the ground is the one with nothing on it, just a bare wire there. So that is essentially how you hook this up. So hopefully you guys can see this all right. So as you can see, we have our two positives coming into our meter up top there. And our little deal here, a conductor, I can't remember the name of it, but it is around, get in there, it is around the one wire in the back, the, the one main wire that's coming in through here. That is the one it's around. So I got my two positives into that same section of the plug one coming up and it's the same thing for the black here which is our other positive uh, I got the black one coming in off the wall and the little uh, I guess pigtail I got going up is coming up into this box as well so these are two separate wires going into the same plugs as these two here just to kind of piggyback it into the meter so yeah hopefully this kind of helps you figure out how to do this plug with this style watt meter well here we are all set up and rolling let's take a quick look down here rabid mining nice so yeah looking good everything is rolling now we got our rigs obviously back online as you can see we're doing a readout also if you're unsure this button right here that little deal if you push on that that will reset your kilowatt hours if you want to just measure that monthly and whatnot okay so a uh, link to space coats if you want one of your own meters boxes like this i will have a link to his youtube channel and on his youtube channel he should have links to his own discord where you can order these boxes also i have links if you wanted to get like say this box as well as this meter by itself and yeah so all sorts of stuff in the descriptions going on. So please check them out. And here we are. We are finally rolling. Rigs are back online. Tripod in the way. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And Rabbit out.